Hey guys, this is that other lock that Mansukas sent me from Poland. Arrived about 15 minutes ago. We popped the other one real quick, but I wanted a chance to take a look at this one. This is a 10-pin dimple lock. It's a half cylinder. He's cut it in half, but it's intact. And I don't recognize the manufacturer. It looks like a Sasquatch or something. And the same symbol is there on the key, but no indication of who made it. But he assures me it's a Polish lock. So this is a really great opportunity to find out how other countries put their keys or put their locks together. So let's uh, let's just try to pick it. I was worried it was going to be like a copy. Eh, it probably won't work too good. Let's try this one. Will that work? I was worried it was going to be a copy of like an MT5 or MT5 plus pin and pin, but that it doesn't look to be the case. Uh, I I did look at the key, and there are no pin and pin. So. Uh, th there are two stacks of pins, five on the left and five on the right, and you really can't get access to the ones on the left until the ones on the right are out of the way. This may be a security feature. So I'm hoping that the ones on the right set low. So that'll give us access to the ones on the left. Because if they set high, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have to push them low, overset them, pick the ones on the left, and then slowly release pressure until the ones on the right pop up to the correct level. And that is a challenge we don't want to have to face if we don't have to. And I'm not feeling any security pins in there. In fact, I only felt one real binding pin on the right, and he happened to be the first one. And the rest of those guys are all springy. So let's just take a look at the left and see if we can find anything. And I got nothing. So there's something on the right that probably have to set the ones on the right first. Before we can begin picking the stack on the left. And unless they sat incredibly low, I'm not getting the binder here. Maybe I missed something on the left side. Yeah, I got one. Come out of there, you devil. Okay, we set one on the right, so let's go back to, or one on the left, let's go back to the right and see if we now activated something over there that's ready to be picked. Hmm, I feel one back there. Can't quite get on him. Okay, let's see if he was the one we were looking for.
Okay, we got a partial set there. Got a fault set, so one security pin anyway. Not the speediest of picks. But ten pins. Not supposed to be easy, is it? I got another binder. And there we go. Oh man, I rotated it and all the pins have popped up on the bottom. But uh, there you go. Let's see if we can get that unbound real quick. Let's see if we can get a little tension wrench in there. I turned him too far in my excitement. Hmm. All right. <laughs> this might be the hardest part of picking the lock, getting it back in the locked position. Anyway, it's not that important. I'll get this off camera. Anyway, there you go. A Sasquatch Polish lock 10 pin. Uh, picked. I can't gut it, unfortunately, but uh, there you go. Thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.